In his meeting with Chinese leaders, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said they discussed China's support of Russia in their war on Ukraine and the production of fentanyl. During the meeting, they also announced an AI conference between our two countries. And China's president reiterated Beijing's concern that the U.S. is suppressing its economic development. China has demonstrated in the past when it comes to Russia and Ukraine uh, that it can take uh, positive action. You'll recall that uh, well over a year ago, uh, we had concerns that Russia was considering the possible use of a nuclear weapon. And I believe that China's voice was important in, uh, at least at that time, moving Russia away from that, uh, that possible course of action. Blinken did not respond to a question on whether Washington would impose sanctions on China for supporting Russia. Alan Miller joins us now with more headlines. Well, Monica, the head of the Federal Student Aid Office is stepping down. Chief Operating Officer Richard Cordray's move comes after the botched rollout of this year's college financial aid application form, known as FAFSA. Delays and technical glitches have kept millions of students and prospective students waiting to hear how much money college will cost them. As a result, the Government Accountability Office has started to investigate how the new form was implemented. The owner of a building in Michigan has been charged with involuntary manslaughter following an explosion that killed a 19-year-old who was hit by flying debris some distance from the scene. Authorities arrested the man at JFK Airport after he bought a one-way ticket to China. The large fire and series of explosions leveled the building. He's being held on half a million dollar bond. Federal safety regulators are looking into whether Tesla has done enough to address issues with its self-driving feature. The all-electric car company issued a massive recall to fix a reported safety threat posed by its autopilot software. A two-year investigation found the autopilot feature gave drivers a false sense of security and implied it could be misused in certain dangerous situations. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, it's time to start thinking about the outdoors. Our gardening guru, Dan Cashman, returns for another season. Back to you, Monica.